Hi, this is Carrie from Garden Rudiments. Today I'm going to be propagating some uh, succulent leaves in this Prohex professional seed starting tray. So all of these I'm going to propagate. And then I have some Graptosedum, some Graptopedalum, I think is what they are and Graptovarius, I have a lot of those. And the reason I'm not doing these in water, first of all, I don't have enough space to put all these in water, because I want to stand them up if I was doing it in water. Since I have so many, and I've taken all of these out of some large pots that I had bought at Lowe's, and I've just tried to um, eventually get everything out of the pots and put them in other arrangements and other containers. So, this is everything I pulled out and I want to use this to propagate. And some of the leaves are big, so I'm gonna have to kind of put them to the side. But the reason I wanted to do it in a seed starter, this is also gonna go under my um, stackable grow light shelf. And I wanted them to have this plastic container, uh, plastic lid over them to hold in the moisture until I get uh, good roots going and a, you know, a good flower going. So that's what we're gonna do right now is to get this started. We're gonna fill our, this is the Pro Hex Professional Seed Starter Tray. Uh, I bought this one at Lowe's. You can also get this on Amazon. And I'll leave a link to any of the products I've used. You can see these can be broken apart. I'm just going to do one tray to start. I'm not sure if it'll it'll take all of them. I believe it will, but I'm going to take out the lid. And then now I have my tray to catch any water, and these also have holes in them. So using the same mix that I've moistened, I'm just going to fill all these containers. All the little seed pods. Now, this tray system is supposed to help you to grow longer roots. These are not shallow at all. They're very deep. So you should get a, a good, strong root system instead of a shallow, you know, little tiny, thin roots. That's what you want. And this one would probably water from the bottom once these get started. I'm gonna firm all the soil up in the trays. But uh, I would set this in water in the tray that it comes with and let it, the water seep up from the bottom when I water them. These won't need very much water with this dome on it. It'll hold in the moisture. That's what I want it to do. I did let all of my leaves and any cuttings that I'm using harden off for a couple of days. You always want to do that so that they develop a callus on them. And you'll hear my dog. She sees people walking up and down the road. Don't know why they'd be walking up and down the road in the weather that we're having today. Uh, I'm waiting for the snow to happen. It has dropped from about 50 degrees when I got up this morning. We had 60 degree weather yesterday and it has now dropped down to below 30. It was 29 the last time that I looked. So we're supposed to have sleet, freezing rain, and snow to start any time. That's why I'm doing this today. The weather's not fit to get out and do anything else. And it's always a good time to garden, even if it is indoors. Okay, I think that looks good. Get this tray up here. So that I don't want my leaves scatter them when I get ready to move them. So I want to keep these. I'm going to set the the end of the leaf right in the center.
These leaves will be under indirect light until I have my first roots and leaves. This clear cover will hold in moisture to help them go ahead and start the rooting process and then uh, I will be misting them every day as needed. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you in the next video.